Welcome to the official IBU press conference after the women's mass start in Antolz. We have with us the winner from Germany, Laura Dallmeier. Second place went to the Czech Republic, Maketa Davidova. And third place, Vanessa Hinz representing Germany. Um, Laura, congratulations. Uh, you had a really tough start into the race uh, today. How did you manage uh, to get back on top finally? Um, yeah, thank you very much. Um, it's a really great day for me. and. Uh, the first loop, it was uh, such a hard fight. Um, I started uh, not really in the front because of my bib. And then I felt really slow, also with the equipment and all the women and everybody was pushing. And I thought, oh my God, please, uh, I stay behind. And um, I just want to make a, a good shooting. And then I had the first miss and I thought, oh, perhaps it's like Rupolding and I don't like mustards. But um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Now I'm here. I have to, to make my five laps. And yeah, we will see what's, what's going on. So how did you manage to forget about Rupolding last week where you actually uh, finished in 30th place? Um, yeah, after the first uh, shooting, I thought, okay, I just uh, make one loop after the other and uh, make a good shooting and feel the atmosphere and... Yeah, that's it. And um, then I had the, the good shootings. And yeah, somehow I was in front of all the others. And I thought, OK, now I'm in the lead. And uh, now I have to fight. And I want to win the race. And yeah, um, then I could forget everything else, also the, the master from Rupoling. So with the great results here in Antolz and also um, this great fight you delivered today on the final lap, um, are you back at 100% already? Um, I think uh, every race in biathlon is a new start. You start um, all together and everything is possible in every race. And I had three really good races here, but uh, yeah, uh, in Kenmore or in, in two weeks, there, there's everything possible and we start new and um, we will see. I feel better and better and I really love this place. I love Antolz. Um, but uh, what's in two weeks, we will see. So the next week is just uh, relaxing? Uh, yeah, it, uh, I say it's relaxing uh, for, for normal people. It's perhaps not uh, that. Um, yeah, we will train a little bit, um, but not so focused on biathlon, not always with skis and shooting, perhaps um, uh, a little bit outside or also sometimes in the gym. And not so many hours than the last weeks. And then we, yeah, had to travel to, to North America. Congratulations again. See you in Canada. Thank you. Uh, Maketa, fantastic skiing, then taking, as always, some time on the range. Is this your key to success? Yeah, I think uh, I am not so good shooter, so I'm really happy for only one miss today. And I have uh, really good skis today. I think they made uh, all the work for me, so I just go with them and... Yeah, it was really good today. <laughs> so, Antolz, you had a victory, two podiums. Um, what, with what feelings are you leaving this place? Yeah, it's, it's really amazing and uh, unbelievable for me. Uh, it was really, really good uh, weekend, and I hope it's not only this weekend. It will be continue, because uh, <laughs> my uh, results are up and down. So, I hope it will be better and better. <laughs> Well, the good news is we are coming back to Antolz next year and it's the World Championships then. Have you thought about this? Are you dreaming of a medal there? Yeah, it's really great. I, I love this place, but uh, like Laura said, it's, uh, every race is new and uh, every race is different. So everybody has changed to win or, or be on podium. So it will be really hard, I think. <laughs> Congratulations again. Thank Marketa. you. Um, Vanessa, yesterday, uh, congratulations first, but yesterday on, on Instagram you wrote, oh, you don't really know what's wrong, um, you, you weren't satisfied with your results. What was right today? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I still can't believe that I'm sitting here now in the third place because after my illness over Christmas and New Year, I had a hard fight back. I never felt so well on the track. Okay, today also not the, my best performance, but... Um, yeah, I'm sitting here in the third place and uh, I'm really happy with this result.
So what was the strategy then when you were suddenly in, in third uh, or even second place after the last shooting? Um, what, what did you think, um, what, what's possible for you today? Oh, I, I just were running. I don't start to think. I, I've heard that, uh, yeah, it's, it will be hard to, to reach the first place because I know Laura is a, is a strong runner and especially on the last loop, uh, it's, it's very hard and I didn't feel so well and so I, I just tried to run. And then on the uphill on the Huber Alm, <laughs> I had no chance to go with the Czech girl. So I just tried to keep the third place and yeah, I did this. So now we have two German girls on the podium. We had Franziska here last week uh, in the relay in Oberhof was really great. So how important is it that the team now picks up some steam after, let's say, a difficult start into the season? <laughs> Uh, it's very important for us. Uh, we always believed in ourselves, but it's hard if the media or people from outside say all the time, oh, without Laura, or oh, you're so bad and uh, you have no chance. And it was, it was really not easy because we are not used to this. But um, with the victory of Franzi last week, it was very important because we all knew what she can do, we can do also. And uh, so now I'm very happy that two German girls are sitting here with the first place and the third place. Congratulations again, Thank Vanessa. You. Are there any questions from the audience? Seeing none, this concludes our press conference. Thank you very much.